Almost half of the foreign domestic workers FDWs in Singapore hide as caregivers to the elderly with chronic diseases such as diabetes, hypertension and high cholesterol are not confident about supporting their healthcare needs or skilled enough to do so. Among the 104 foreign caregivers recruited for a local study conducted by Singh Health Polyclinics SHP, 45.5% and 40% of those who were needed to carry out blood pressure and blood glucose monitoring, respectively, lacked the confidence to do so. Nearly 2 in 5 36% of those who need to supervise the seniors' medicine intake were apprehensive about doing so, according to the study, which was published in 2022 in BMJ Open, an online, open access journal dedicated to publishing medical research from all disciplines and therapeutic areas. The study, conducted between May and June 2018, interviewed FDWs from Indonesia, the Philippines and Myanmar, most of them in their 30s. The average age of their care recipients was 81 years old. The interviews were carried out at four Singh Health Polyclinics, Bidok, Bukit Mera, Outram and Tampanese. Clinical Associate Professor Tan Jayap Chuan, Director of Research at SHP and Vice Chair of Research at the Singh Health Duke NUS Family Medicine Academic Clinical Program, said, poorly managed chronic diseases can lead to complications and morbidity. To prevent that and deliver competent elder care in a rapidly aging population, there is the need to train FDWs in the necessary skills to care for our elderly. He added, with the findings, we are exploring the options of how we can empower FDWs to better support the older Singaporeans. Currently, it is not really systematic when it comes to the level of competency of these helpers. To do so, a polyclinic-based training workshop has been developed to empower FDWs with knowledge and skills to perform geriatric care tasks. It will be piloted at UNOS Polyclinic in late 2023 to early 2024. Singapore's population is aging rapidly, with the proportion of citizens aged 65 and above increasing to 18.4% in 2022. By 2030, about one in four citizens, or 23.8%, will be aged 65 and above. For many families here, FDWs are usually hired as additional family caregivers, with almost half employed for the purpose of looking after older family members. Apart from managing household chores, the boundary between care work and domestic tasks is usually blurred, and over half of domestic helpers do not have geriatric care experience or formal training. But families hire FDWs, despite concerns that the latter lack proper training in caring for frail older adults. They are selected solely on their profiles provided by commercial hiring agencies, including nationality, age, and previous working experience. Here, the evaluation of their competency in providing geriatric care is lacking in the hiring process, Professor Tan said. Miss Ong Kim Wai, a nurse clinician at SHP Tampanis, said that in her 19 years of work at the polyclinic, close to 30% of her patients were accompanied by at least one foreign domestic caregiver when visiting the polyclinic. Ms. Ong, who is also the main author of the research paper, said that although the FDWs in her study were aware of healthy lifestyle practices, such as cutting down on salt and oil intake, using whole grains, and the benefits of exercising, most of them still need specific training in performing health-related tasks such as giving medicine and monitoring blood pressure and blood glucose for the elderly. The study revealed that almost half of them were unfamiliar with the use of measurement devices, possibly due to the lack of related training. The more knowledgeable the FDWs were, the more they are confident in accomplishing the healthcare-related tasks which will ultimately benefit the patient, she added. When his domestic helper of eight years retired and returned 
to the Philippines, in 2021. All Mr. Fabian Lim wanted, was an FDW, who was reliable to take care of his mother's daily needs, while the rest of the family was at work. His mother, Madam Kao Wat Nio, 68, had a stroke 12 years ago, that weakened her right side. Mr. Lim, 40, who works in logistics as a freelancer, said his mother suffers from short-term memory loss, often forgetting to swallow, while eating or drinking. She needs to be supervised. Fortunately, the family found that support in Miss Sosima Donato, who had worked in Singapore for 15 years as a domestic helper and had cared for three elderly people before she started work for the Lims in early 2021. Miss Donato, 46, a Filipino, whom her employers only call Susie, takes care of Madam Kao's daily needs, including logging her blood pressure three times a day, managing her medication, massaging her arms and legs, and supervising her during every meal to make sure she does not choke. Miss Donato said she also learned by watching how nurses take blood pressure measurements and how therapists work with Madam Ka whenever she accompanies the elderly woman to the clinic. Said Mr. Lim, Susi is a quick learner, and if all goes well, we are even planning to take her and my mother to Vietnam for a short holiday in January. Miss Donato hopes to learn more about how to take care of Madam Kao, whom she addresses as Mummy, and is looking forward to attending classes, should the workshop be held on weekends when she gets her day off. Seeing how domestic helpers usually get their days off on weekends. Professor Tan said the polyclinic-based training workshops, which will be free initially, will not be more than two hours and will probably be held on Saturdays. We are hoping their employers will see the value of allowing their helpers to attend these workshops. He said, adding that SHP will scale up the workshops once the acceptance rate rises.